So this template was going around on Instagram where people could put their picture of their car in here and it looks like it's in a magazine or something. So I thought it'd be funny if I added my picture of the silver GT because you can insert any picture you want when it was wrecked. So I thought that was kind of funny, but also kind of cool because that's what the car looked like before I had it. And so uh, anyway, I went to wash the silver GT and there's like these two cats that love to hang out at our house. And I don't have cats, I'm actually like allergic, but here? they just love hanging out here, and we feed them a little bit and stuff, and they like to hang out here, so it's just kind of funny that I go out there, and there's one under the car, and there's one, you know, walking around and rubbing up against my leg, and it's funny because we'll go places at night, and they're sitting on top of different cars in the neighborhood. So it was a nice week, and I had some time off of work, and I was getting ready to have some friends come to town who were coming in for my 20th anniversary high school reunion, and that's local. It's the school I went to here in town, and so it was going to be real fun, and uh, we had some friends come over and hang out, and it was just a good time for me to clean out the garage, hang out, and do a couple little projects until they were ready to meet up, and... Uh, I had a little project I wanted to do with some emblems. I've been saving Mustang emblems every now and then. I've bought a few on eBay that I liked uh, that were specific to my cars, like the 10th anniversary badge and stuff. And I wanted to eventually make like a shadow box for them or something, uh, but I have this new refrigerator in my garage, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to make some magnets out of those emblems and put them on the refrigerator door. So... I had some uh, little pieces here that I had to cut out of magnetic strips that were like double-sided, but I added super glue to, and um, I ended up putting all these together, which was pretty cool, and some of them went on pretty easily, some of them I had to modify a little bit, but there's the top of a GT's intake manifold as well little emblem, and the Mach 1 letters were a little bit more difficult because I had to do each one of those individually, and I ended up using a uh, level to make sure that the letters were nice on the refrigerator. Reminded me of those little refrigerator magnets that kids play with with all the little letters on them. Next thing I wanted to do was work on the Blue Mach one. I have some extra OEM style license plate screws and these flathead screws have been here since I've owned the car. I just, you know, had gotten the plate for this Mach one when I bought it and those were what was in it so I've always just left those there but I was looking at it and I thought I'd like to add the OEM black style screws and I have several sets that I've collected from the wrecking yards and stuff when I've gone so it's not a big deal but to me I do like uh, having these little OEM pieces on the car when possible there's some things I like to change on the cars, but some things I think look really good, and this is one of those things that catches my eye. I'll sit in a camp chair and hang out and answer questions on YouTube and Instagram and stuff, and I'll sit here in the driveway in the shade, and I'll look at the cars a lot, and I keep looking at those screws, and I thought I would like to swap those out, and I have plenty of them. I actually forgot that this Mach 1 had different license plate screws. The other cars all have them. Uh, but this one had aftermarket ones. So they gave us these t-shirts for our high school reunion. I thought it was cool because it matches my Mach 1 very well, the, the blue color. And so I decided we'd take the Mach 1 to the reunion. And we went to the store in the silver GT, just kind of doing some errands before my friends got together and stuff. And you know, it's nice to take the GT out and go places like that. And... You know, it's just a beautiful day. Just love this area. This is where I grew up. And so it's just fun to go drive around here and go places. I actually really enjoy coming to this Walmart a lot. And it was just a nice place to go with the GT. So we took it. And then my wife and I took the Blue Mach 1, met up at some friends' houses before the reunion. And then we went to the high school parking lot. Here's my brother coming in. Oh, 
this was really fun for us because this is where my brother and I had gone to high school. We drove our V6 Mustangs. This is exactly where we used to park them. And it was fun to stand up on that field where the school used to be, actually. The new school is just to the left there. Uh, they tore down the school we went to. Since we were the last class to go through that old school, actually. But you would stand up on that hill and see the cars come in. And you go slow over the speed bumps. And it was just a really big part of life as a young teenager, especially with our first Mustangs. So it was really fun to be able to bring our Mustangs to the high school, especially the Mustangs that we really wish we would have had in 2003 and 2004 when we were going there. So we graduated in class of 04, so it's pretty cool to have an 04 Cobra. It's the car that you wish you had when you graduated for a graduation present. It would have been even cooler to have it during the 04 year as your senior year. My orange uh, Cobra and this yellow Cobra were both made in January of 04, so if we could have bought these new, my brother and I would have had these cars our senior year. It would have been awesome, but we made it up to ourselves, and we have them now, and we're grateful for the V6 Mustangs we had in high school, the 97s. They were great, but it's just really cool to come here with the car of our dreams, and the Mach 1, it would have been the same thing, or the Bullet, any of the New Edge Mustangs I own now would have been awesome to have in high school, so here's just a little group of me and my friends, and then at night, uh, we went to leave. It was a pretty good dinner and stuff. We hung out and then just walking out here to the cars in the high school parking lot was fun. So we'll watch my brother drive off here. We're going to go meet up somewhere else. that was cool to see him leaving the parking lot we used to stand there and watch cars leave like that all the time it was so much fun back then and so it's fun to have these cars here now our ultimate dream cars so we went to a place in town and uh, met up with friends to have ice cream and hang out and talk Next day was a nice day to take the GT over to the church for a meeting and just driving out here is really nice. This is the commute to the church and back and then I went back again at night to go pick up my son for something that he had to go to a meeting. The moon was out, looked really nice, beautiful evening. Then uh, here's my wife taking the GT to work. My family had a bunch of places to be. The kids were going to birthday parties and my wife had somewhere to go. And so I decided to go ahead and take the Blue Mach 1 out for a nice drive and go get something nice to eat. And my friend saw me in traffic. He's the one with the black Mach 1. And he took a picture of me and sent it to me. He said, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> you weren't being loud enough. 
And I just responded and said, cats, because this car still has the high flow catalytic converters on it. So I just tried to go around town, go to a few places I liked, peg hunt for Hot Wheel cars and treasure hunts and stuff, and just enjoyed being out and driving the Mustang around. And I saw a couple people I know, so it was kind of funny. This truck pulled up, and at first I was kind of like, uh, you know, nobody wants a big truck getting close to their car and stuff. But then I thought, well, if anything, he'll keep other people from parking by me. And you've got somebody now who's got eyes on your car the whole time. So if anything happens, you could ask them, you know, for information. So I was actually glad that he had parked there. Then I went to Target and I picked up this Mach 1. And a really nice one. I have some of the fighter jet gray ones. And they just started making blue ones. So I went to the pool party to pick up my kids. And Mach 1 looks good. Parked out there. Just kind of waited for them to finish swimming and playing and stuff and then walking out to the Mach 1 in the shade it looked very good I just love how beautiful it is I just washed it for the reunion as well so the car looks very beautiful just love seeing it like this so I was going to go over to the other garage where my brother and I are keeping our Mach 1s and I got the keys to my brother's Mach 1 because I needed to move it around a little bit and then I stopped at my house to get the keys to the yellow Mach 1, because so I decided I'd probably just bring the yellow one home, and so uh, I got there to the house and just kind of played musical cars, and I had a battery I'd put on a battery tender. It was showing a little bit of weakness. It was the battery that was in the Silver GT as my daily driver battery, and it had some hard time starting the other day, so I put it on the battery tender, and I was going to put it here in the yellow Mach 1 and switch places with the blue Mach 1 and you'll see what happens here but cars look beautiful together it's fun to see the three mach ones in here i used to have a red mach one as well so i used to have all three of these cars the red one is my brother's so now i'm just going to move his over to make a little bit of room to um bring my yellow mach one closer because it was too far against that wall and i ultimately decided to put the blue mach one there anyway Ah, fiddlesticks. Battery's dead. I had it on the tender, like I said. It's just a bad battery now. It's pretty old, though. It was in the yellow Mach 1 originally, and I've used it for a long time daily driving. So I'm just going to uh, push the Mach 1 out, and I'll put the battery to the blue one in it once I get this into the street so I don't have to keep switching batteries. But, you know, we'll just uh, do that, and that way... I can take this car home and just leave the blue one here without a battery, which is fine.
So I got home and I thought I might as well leave the car in the driveway where I have more room to walk around it and give it a little bit of a wet, dry microfiber towel bath. And so it's just a little bit easier to be around it outside instead of squeezing between the cars and stuff. And so just needed to wipe it down real quick and get the dust off of it mostly. A couple of bugs on the front and stuff, but... Uh, anyway, it's a nice evening, and I thought I might as well uh, continue to clean out the garage and organize it like I was. I wanted to vacuum in all the cracks of the cement in the garage with my shop vac, and the floor needed to be mopped. Basically, I use old microfibers that I used to have, like these ones when I'm done with them, and they're kind of dirty. I'll use those to kind of mop the floor and clean it up and stuff. So it's just a nice night to be hanging out with the cars, listening to music, organizing and cleaning up a little bit, and just enjoying life. Just trying to have fun and be happy and, and relaxed and stuff. So garage floor turned out pretty nice. And uh, it mostly just gets dusty from you know, just being a garage. But anyway... Everything looks good. Decided I should probably run this extension cord over and keep the battery tender on the Red Cobra for a little bit. Uh, it's just getting to that time of year where it's cooling down here in the fall and probably need to have the battery tenders keep up on the batteries a little bit better. Even though the other one just kind of died, I think just from old age, but it was a slight temperature drop. But cool to see all the Mustangs here in the driveway as usual. Just love hanging out and having a good time and listening to music and trying to enjoy life. And here's me driving the Mach 1 to work early the next morning. So that's the update for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more Mustang content.